right, everybody. It's Adventure Dad and Adventure Girl here again from the Family Adventure. Yep. It's time for everybody's favorite show, Camper Cook-Off. This is going to be a little bit of a change-up, though. We are currently loading the camper up. Mama Bear's packing it, getting us ready for this weekend. Yep. So we've moved outside for this edition of the Camper Cook-Off. I'd also like to take this time to drop a line and thank a couple of our subscribers. USS Boom and Chris Brown got to us in the comments and let us know what they thought about the cook-offs we were doing inside the camper where we were comparing some of the Four Patriots and My Patriot Supply food. They both gave us great suggestions on what we should call that and we've kind of made a hybrid of it. We're gonna go with camper cook-off whenever we're comparing these foods. And we've decided we've referred to our travel trailer as the home we take away from home. Now I think with their suggestion, we're gonna begin calling it the adventure camper. Yep. I think that the um, idea of the adventure camper is pretty cool since we're the family adventurers. Good deal. So adventure camper it is. So today, this is going to be a little bit different too because we're not comparing two different brands. Nope. We've gone back to our standard on what we think is the best freeze-dried food and camping food we've eaten so far. What's that brand, Adventure Girl? Mountain House. Today we'll be comparing beef stew versus the lasagna and meat sauce. And both of these came pretty highly recommended. I think most of the comments we've got is the lasagna with meat sauce is one of the best meals out there. That's why I picked it. So Adventure Girl went with the lasagna and meat sauce. That's her favorite to win. And for me, I'm a beef stew kind of guy. So I'm going beef stew. I'm not. I'm not a beef stew girl, so I'm not going to choose that one. Well, we will find out in the taste test. Who's better? On which ones we like and if they're both good or not. Yeah. You can also probably see... We broke out the MSR Pocket Rocket 2, and we brought back the pot from our cheap Amazon cook set. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get this stove lit up, get some water in the pot, start boiling, and start getting these meals ready, see if we can beat the onsetting darkness here. So bear with us, we're gonna get all this going. So if you enjoy watching me and Adventure Girl do these camper cook-off videos, be sure to hit that like button, let us know in the comments. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can go back. We have an entire playlist on camp food. Be sure to check that out. You can see some of the other videos we've done where we compare different brands. Yep. I appreciate everybody taking the time and watching. Stick around. We're going to check out these Mountain House meals. All right. Here's your gas. Okay. There's your MSR Pocket Rocket 2. So, do I go ahead and screw it? Go ahead and screw it on. Make sure that bottom's off. Screw it down. All right, you gotta be sure you get screwed on quick because when it breaks the seal, it's gonna start letting the gas out. So you gotta make sure you get it tight. One of the good things about this MSR Pocket Rocket 2 mm -hmm. is you see how the base of it is. Yeah. It stops it when it gets all the way tight. Mm -hmm. It keeps you from over tightening it and doing any damage to the inside of the stove. Oh. So now you can flip your legs up. So they go up and come out. Just like that. Oh. Up and out. All right, you want to set your pot on there and make sure it's going to sit nice and steady. Look good? Yep. All right. Now, Let's see, how much water is your lasagna calling for? Uh, on the back for the instructions, mm -hmm. it'll say open package, remove and discard oxygen absorber, carefully add, 
11. One and a half cups. Mine has 11. Yours so is one and one half. half cups. So then I'm a one and three quarter cup. So I've got 14 ounces. You've got 12 ounces. So it's 14 plus 12. 14 plus 12, 26. 26. We're 16 ounces a piece. So we're going to go ahead and add 116. The whole go ahead and put the whole bottle in there. And then we'll add us about 10 here. Thank you, Adventure Girl. You're welcome. Now, you want to turn your gas on just a little bit? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Go ahead. Okay. Hear that pocket rocket roar. Crank it up and get this water boiling. Love how fast this pocket rocket will boil water. And we've been very impressed with how fast this thing does. Yeah, it's already starting to. MSR has really put out a great product. Yeah, I've never used the standard pocket rocket, or I think it was the micro they had. Pocket Rocket 2 is supposed to be a good mix of the two of them. This thing does awesome for us a few times we've used it already. Can't wait to actually get it out in the field and put it to the real test. Alright, so while we're getting our water boiled, Mr. Girl, let's go ahead and get these things opened up. See if we can find our do not eats in them. One oxygen absorber. That smells pretty good. Uh, my beef stew. Can't find my dinner. This is what my. Sorry. Lasagna meat sauce. Pretty good. It looks pretty good. It smells like spaghetti on them. Warm. Warm your hands up. If you're cold, you get that and then you can just warm your hands. Mm -hmm. It's boiled. You hear that in the background? Somebody's driving too short. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the wind's actually up quite a bit right now. You might be able to hear the plane coming in and out. But that's a great thing too about this pocket rocket too. There's a
think one of the mistakes we've made in the past is we haven't let our water get to a boiling boil or we mount count fuel. So we're making sure that we've got the water good and hot this time. Yeah, it is that tank that's really hot. So now that we're up to a boil, we're going to cut the heat off. We're going to pour this water in these meals, mix them up, seal them off, let them rehydrate. Yeah. Alright, AG. Yeah? Let's come get your lasagna ready. I'm going a cup and three quarters. Hmm. It smells like spaghetti. It smells so good. <laughs> Alright. So you have broccoli. I believe it's peas in there. Ah. Now I'm gonna pour this just so I don't okay. burn you here if I spill any. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, wow, it's already starting to look like. Um, it's starting to look like lasagna. Yeah. And spaghetti. All right. Good. Here's your fork. If you want to stir and seal your top back up. Oh. Okay. Alright, well, I've got my beef stew mixed. Mm -hmm. Lay it across my spoon be just fine. Alright, you can get your top sealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After adding the water, stir carefully, close zipper, wait five minutes, stir again, reseal, let stand an additional four minutes. Okay. Let's see if your instructions follow mine. On the lasagna, wait five minutes, stir again and reseal, let stand an additional four minutes. Not sure if you noticed that on these two, the expiration date. Currently 2021. This is good to 2050. That's a long time. It's an awful long time. That's one reason I really like these meals is the shelf life on it is just outstanding. Yeah. Uh, we will be back here shortly after these things have set for five minutes. We'll stir. We'll do four more minutes. Then we'll give them a taste test. Yeah. All right, it's been five minutes. We're gonna open these up, stir them, close them back up. Give them four more minutes. And grab, then we get to eat them. Grab your fork. Fork. Mm -hmm. Hot. Make sure you stir everything down on the bottom. Make sure you don't have any dry spots. Hard spots? Yep. Don't feel any hard. Feel anything that feels dry? We had just been through the five minutes. I opened the patches up to stir. I was resealing them. Realized that the camera had died. <clears throat> so it's been a little bit longer than the four minutes. It's been about 10 minutes now. We've got the camera back up. We're going to open these packs up, stir them, see how they're looking, and give them the taste test. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> Right. Mine's looking pretty good. Mine. Fork. Thank you. Mine looks like saucy noodles and meat. Like it should be, right? It's the way it should be. Here's some beef stew. I have this one. I can't tell. Hold it up. Here's some lasagna and meat sauce. Yes. Well, AG, let's give it a taste test and see what we think here. Okay. Looks like I've got peas, carrots, corn, and beef in a sauce. Hmm. I have noodles, meat, and sauce.
It tastes like spaghetti to me. It tastes like spaghetti to you, so it tastes like lasagna on a taste. Yeah. Beef stew is pretty good. I mean, just like everything else, it ain't like Grandma cooked it. That's kind of hard to argue with right there. That's a cold night, cold day out. I mean, that would that would be great out on the trail. Mine's good, but it's a little hot from where it's been cooking. You want to give this beef stew a try? Yes. All right. How's that beef stew? It's good. What kind of flavor are you getting from it? I'm getting, um, like, a regular soup flavor. I'm getting some meat. You're getting a good beef yeah. based yeah. soup flavor? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was impressed with how well it actually does taste. You do get a lot of that beef stock taste to it. Yeah. Now on this lasagna and the meat sauce here. It's pretty good. Okay. So I had originally picked the beef stew going into this. AG had picked the lasagna and meat sauce. I said at the beginning of the video, the lasagna and meat sauce came in extremely high when we asked for people's favorite flavor on these mountain houses. It was the highest rated menu we were getting back from people. Yep. I understand why. This lasagna and meat sauce, I mean, this does taste, I mean, it's what you would really expect. This is, I don't want to say it's as good as going to a restaurant or as good as homemade, but it's definitely better than anything you're eating out of a can. I mean, the, the seasoning in it is on point. That's good. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to bow out here. AG has beat me yet again. The lasagna and meat sauce. Definitely better than the beef stew. Although the beef stew was good, this lasagna and meat sauce is great. Yeah. Um, I like the um, beef stew, but I do like the... Um, lasagna and meat sauce a lot more hope everybody enjoyed this yep me and ag is gonna sit down on the bench here we've got finish these meals off get all of our gear put up and get back in the house if you enjoyed the video watching us do this comparison be sure to hit that like button mm -hmm. leave us some comments let us know what menus you prefer a different brand of food we should be trying out yep if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you've enjoyed it be sure to hit that subscribe button follow along with us we'll be doing some more camper comparisons hopefully next time we'll be back in the adventure camper doing them yep i hope another shout out to chris brown and uss boom for the ideas on the names appreciate every one of you for following along with us have a good night, and we'll see you on the next adventure. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like button. Leave us some comments, and let us know what you think. If you're enjoying this and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button.